everybody coming off that awesome Tainted Eve run. I thought, what if we just ran it back, tried to do Tainted Eve Mega Satan? Sorry, I got a, literally like five cans of sparkling water on my desk. Your boyfriend might have the Lego Death Star, but can he chug an entire can of sparkling water without burping? Oh god, what do I do? Bonk. Okay, that's fun. We have some fun here. Um, I, realistically speaking, probably should not anticipate having a run as solid as our last one, but who knows, you know? We went through a lot of that last run wondering when, you know, it was going to start, and then it uh, started, like, in a big way. Perfection was just so good. Like, there, I don't know if there's a bigger flex in Repentance than having Perfection drop on the Dogma fight. Because you only get it after you've beaten uh, three bosses in a row without taking damage. So, to not get it in the early game, but get it in the at the, the final boss of the game is hilarious. And then, the fact that we had Ghost Pepper, uh, just to, you know, I mean, that was the cherry on top, right? So, for now, yeah, I'm a little nervous here. Um, about going down to zero HP, but I also recognize, you know, it's the best way to deal damage as Tainted Eve, and I, I think I got a newfound understanding and, and respect, dare I say, for Tainted Eve as well. Here's an idea. What it does, Sumptorium, it gives us your HP back. Then, do you take damage when you use it? No, okay. So, we, what was my, my Giga Brain play there? I thought with Swallowed Penny, we could farm up infinite money. By taking damage, triggering Swallowed Penny, with, and then using Sumptorium to get the HP back from the damage we took in a controlled context. But, uh, didn't work out that way, and honestly, that's probably for the best. <laughs> it would be a little bit, uh, OP, I think. Um, I don't know. Uh, Box of Friends? I mean, I'm not gonna spend seven bombs trying to get to enough money, but if Box of Friends doubles Sumptorium... Then that's that's pretty top tier. We got to think about this one because a, a rainbow poop makes a big difference here. I think personally, no. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. I think personally we should farm up a little money rather than farming up the Sumptorium place. And I know that probably is a little bit suspect, but and especially when that happens afterwards. I don't know. I feel like that's totally fine. I don't know why I'm stressing it. And I, I think we should just just try. Remember, it only works for one room, so we got to be a little funky. Give me that funky beat. Give me, give me that funky beat. You know what I'm talking about? Lethal Leak. Uh, we have no reason to hold AWAS. This is one you could just use and hope you get something valuable. And then see what we get here. The Emperor. Very good uh, at... Cementing a deal with the devil on the next floor, I'd say, is the big play there. Wow, those are not second secret rooms. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to... We're going to get to five Sumptorium familiars. or Let's go with four for now. We're going to double them. They they did not double, but instead we got Demon Baby uh, as, I, I guess, like a consolation prize. I'm happy that there is a form of consolation, but simultaneously, like makes this item probably not worth the 15 cents we paid for it. But hey, we learned something in the process that I will then ask chat to remind me of in the future, to be honest. Let's see what we got here. A good trinket, I think. Two of spades is, is fine. Teardrop charm? You gotta try it. Speed down could be better, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, and then, yeah, yeah, I feel okay here. I'm okay with this. This is it's going to be a touch spicy, but I mean, it's one of those things where if you're not confident, like in your own ability to beat the first two bosses of this game without taking, you know, catastrophic amounts of damage. Um, and I'm not saying it's never happened that, you know, that I've screwed myself, but <laughs> that's that's you got to work on your fundamentals in that case. Okay, let's you killed one of my Sumptoriums. I need those guys to do damage. Because I have no damage ups yet. 
good amount of bombs, admittedly, but no damage ups. So are we going to do deal with the devil this time? You must think I'm a fool. We have to fight Mega Satan. Easiest way to do that is definitely uh, via Angel Deals. Eddie Room is like a, a, a secondary aspect, okay? So, right now, this run is starting a little unimpressively, but that's okay. A lot of Isaac runs start unimpressively, especially if you're going for Angel Deals. Um, you know, it's a situation where we're, we're kind of going for that Susan Boyle life. What on earth does that mean? You know, it means that perhaps the, the first part of our life, the first chapter, is not that remarkable. And then later in life, um, we take our incredible singing talents to the world of Britain's Got Talent or The Voice or whatever the heck that crappy show is called. Uh, and everyone goes, no way this frumpy old lady can sing. And then, wouldn't you know it, she dreams a dream. And they're like, I'm ashamed of my words and my deeds. It's a secret room. Doing very well financially on this run. We've, we've had a lot of lucky situations where our, our finances have turned out for the best. It's, it's hilarious to me that I, like, am so committed to not losing this rotten heart. And yet, having one Sumptorium Familiar, which again, is probably not what they're called. Do you see that dodge? Um, but it's probably worth so much more than a single fly that it's, like, laughable. And yet, here we are, continuing to do it, because I don't know, because it gives us something to focus on. It gives us a, a pillar to organize our life around, which, which provides a scaffolding of meaning. Uh, that's Sci-Fly. That's pretty great. I'm not trying to be diminutive of Sci-Fly's abilities. It's possibly the best item in the game. No irony, no joking. Um, but it does also... I mean, we need... Defense, or we need offense now, I should say. Let's see what this is. A death card. Okay, hold on. Death card repentance. Death card for, for Eddie. I want to be where code meets Eddie. Death question mark. Question. Make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Sorry, I'm just looking. Death? Invokes a Book of the Dead effect. Um, it's not that bad. It's also not that good. And we're, we're not using it in the best, you know, possible ability here. Wait, did it? Is that what it did there? I don't know. I, I'm willing to get a bomb and then check this out. Financially, you know, one of the best decisions you could ever make, I think, but... Um, we'll be moving on still. Next floor, we're really hoping for that angel deal. And it, it doesn't have to be... Hold on, there's a red heart back here. I think we gotta start committing to this Sumptorium gameplay. I guess we'll double up our Sci-Fly with Box of Friends as well, which strikes me as not being very good. In my head, I'm actually concocting a situation where maybe you take, like, Glowing Hourglass... Uh, and then you like go into an item room and if the item room sucks, then you don't actually take the item. Oh lord. In order to, to emphasize the possible planetarium chance in the future, but I really think you, you can't rely on the, on the planetarium chance that well. Yeah, it, it, it do be double in sci-fi. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna create <clears throat> some familiars here. Sorry, by the way, we're a little flammy. Um, it's, it's the dang heat wave, man. I gotta keep my AC crank just to keep the temperature comfortable. At least they had dry throat, man. Life's so hard in the middle of this heat wave. Well, it's only 29 degrees Celsius in my office. I mean, admittedly, that's that's pretty hot and kind of compromises the bit somewhat. But, um, oh, man, yeah. The... Hey, everybody, welcome back. Ha-ha! <laughs> um... Streamer loses run with Sci-Fly? If you're gonna lose a run with anybody, um, with Sci-Fly, I should say, with any character, it would be uh, the character that incentivizes you to leverage, like, all of your HP in order to get uh, a single smidgen of damage. 
But, okay, so the bit there was we're in the middle of, like, a, a historic heat wave in, in the Pacific Northwest. But instead of complaining about the heat, I just complain about, you know, the fact that uh, the AC is making my throat so dry. It's like in Dumb and Dumber when Jeff Daniels' hands are about to fall off due to frostbite. And then Jim Carrey goes, here, why don't you take my extra pair of gloves? I'm so stupid. <laughs> As that was exploding, I was like, I don't think I'm far enough away. Well, that was tactical, tactical gameplay. Tactical gameplay. Um, this you're, you're witnessing the mega tilt now. This is what's known as the mega tilt. It's when you don't have very much DPS, and as a result, every room seems like unfathomable to you. Um, the thing about the mega tilt, it very, very rarely, thanks for that, by the way, very, very rarely shows up uh, on the first floor. This is the kind of, like, situation, like, mentally, this feels like train wreck territory to me. And we're a minute and 44 seconds into the run. So that's a psychological thing. That's, that's a phenomenon that we must explore for ourselves uh, and figure out, you know, what's, what's causing that. I'm using far too many bombs here, but if it keeps my, my brain good, then I'm a happy man. Loving that electric guitar, Joe Satriani, keep it up. Should be a secret room. Not a secret room. I'm gonna become the Joker. I, 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 I'm not like super mad or whatever, uh, but it's quite a lot of L-shaped rooms and I, I can't help but feel that maybe I should take offense to that to some extent. So many L-shaped rooms. The only thing uh, good with an L-shape in my world is an L-shaped desk. And admittedly, an, let's go. An, an L-shaped desk is, uh, I mean, it's the superior form of desk technology. A U-shaped desk has got a, a, a certain je ne sais quoi. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> I have to push back a little bit. I don't think that I played, except for the bomb, obviously. I don't think I played that terribly on that run. Uh, I think we encountered, like, a lot of rooms that were mega annoying. Like, like insanely annoying. But anyway, this is the, the price you pay. To have those awesome, uh, you know, Tainted Eve runs, so we just say, so be it, so be it. Like, that that's the kind of thing where, I mean, just for me personally, you when you have that room right there and you literally can't get through it, and I, I think we literally couldn't get through it without using uh, our Sumptorium to bring our HP back, that's where I'm like... I mean, am I really going to be that guy who, like, after having one of the greatest runs I've ever had with Tainted Eve, I'm going to be like, well, they should give her a little bit of a buff. I suppose I am that guy. I suppose I am. <laughs> but, like, the starting rate of fire is, is abysmal. It's as the French say, les incompetents. But nonetheless, we persist. I can feel the acetylcholine building up in my body again as I try to do uh, the slightest bit of damage to these enemies. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. That's too much. We, we gotta... Streamer loses mind? And dies with sci-fi? Okay, was there a sale on speed down pills? No, that's alright. No, it's, it's fine. Something inside that you wanna say, say it all right, it'll be okay, it will be all right, it will be all right. Why not? At this point, why not? And I'm like, I'm gonna commit to that first devil deal. It makes no sense, but... Oh, okay, so this is uh, inarguably my bad. Um, but I didn't think that uh, Sumptorium... Familiars would also get 
dunce cap. And I must admit, that one's completely on me. Because they do get all the other tier effects, I think. So, um, I don't know what I expected on that one. I can't really be too upset. wonder what Birthright does. If we, if we can get some bombs or just some money is also good. Uh, don't die here, okay? So I, I sucked up the familiars again. Because I want to live. And then I want to get Birthright. It's one of those things... It's not implemented on every character, but... Like, I, I can't play like this for a run. And then be like... Oh, the game screwed me. Wow, they need to implement this. Even though that is a caricature of how I behave for real. Um, well done. That's pretty much the timing I was looking for on that one. And just create some more. I know earlier I got rid of my Sumptorium familiars, but that was before I could get so many. Fundamentally, absolutely nothing has changed over that infinitesimally short time period, but... That's a redundant, right? You don't need to say infinitesimally short. Just infinitesimal will do it. I thank you. 15 cents, that's what we're looking for. So here's here's my protocol, okay? We're gonna buy Birthright, and then we're gonna see what it does. For now, I have no idea. Birthright Tainted Eve. Birthright Eve. Eve. Currently unimplemented. Man, it's crazy. Um, because, like, um, you know, just off the top of my head, some Torium Familiars have homing shots. Some Torium Familiars do double damage. Some Torium Familiars, you know, have double HP. Like, it feels like... For some of the characters, I totally get it. Um, why there's no Birthright effect. They seem difficult to come up with. At the very least, for Tainted Eve, um, a placeholder mechanic doesn't seem that difficult i'm not in game dev but you know if if the problem is design i mean you, you, it, it's probably not coding considering you got items in the game like bag of crafting and even like stuff like sacrificial egg and stuff like that you know just adding a two to the value seem or you know adding a scaling effect to the value it seems so if you want, that's a free one on the house. Now, if you could just hotfix that, uh, like, live while I'm in the middle of this game, that would help me out a great deal. So if you could just go ahead and move your office down to the boiler room, that would be great. Thanks. Okay. Well, we've made it to the second floor, which makes this the most successful run I've been a part of in quite some time. 100% deal with the devil chance. 100%. Uh, which is... Not good. Although, I mean, it's good in the sense we need to get that devil deal to get angel deals in the future. But obviously, like, it in and of itself is not uh, not that impressive for us. Just wanted these guys to be kind of the vanguard here. Um, it was good. You know, that, that room was positive. No question there. I do like tier size. Like, I, it's a fairly minor upgrade, but I think especially... You know, with something like Dunce Cap, having a little extra sizing on the tiers is probably worth it. By the way, I'm sure there's some people in chat here. They're going, hey, did you know, like, if you spawn your familiars in a certain way, if you if you hold... <clears throat> sorry, the heat wave. If you hold left control, you can reorganize your familiars. And maybe with Dunce Cap, you can get a bunch of extra coverage there. Um, and then you could, you know, blanket the whole map in tiers. Hey, did you know, um, you know, if you go faster than the speed of light, you might travel back in time? That's basically what you're saying to me. It, it's... Fundamentally, there is zero difference. Because we, we can't guarantee either of those um, in vivo. <laughs> in, in theory, you might be absolutely correct. You know, and, and I encourage you to play the seed for yourself. as it is displayed there. Now you got no excuse. I was just trying, you know, I was steamrolling your objections there. It's an old telemarketer's trick. Hey, when was the last time you got a legitimate voicemail? I was thinking about this the other day. I literally 
Um, I only get voicemails now from either robots trying to steal my identity or, you know, get me to pay off a supposed, like, tax lien in Amazon gift cards and Bitcoin. Uh, and then, again, there's some lady in Vancouver who uh, is under the mistaken impression that her phone number is actually my phone number or, or vice versa, I suppose. Um, so... I would say 70% of my voicemails are like the spa asking to confirm the appointment if she's uh, if she's good for tomorrow. And then the other 30% are robots that are like, you must appear in court tomorrow unless you send money to this Bitcoin address. And you're like, I think I'll go to the spa. Sorry, I can't, I can't appear in court tomorrow. It's my spa day. Interesting. We, we have to say no, right? Unless we, we think we could do an Eddie room in the future? Hold on. Sa Satanic Bible? I'm looking up so much on the wiki. These items must be paid for, but do not count as a devil deal for the purposes of spawning an angel room. Thank you, wiki. That's like exactly what I was looking for. Um, that's, that's incredible intel. I know what some people are thinking, by the way. Why don't you, like, call um, the spa and tell them, like, it's not her, right? Like, it's the wrong number. I honestly, like, I did it a couple of times because it's not just the spa. Like, I've had, like, doctor's offices and stuff like that calling me. And then I have to call them back and be like, uh, yeah, I'm not this lady. I'm just, like, a guy who is annoyed. Uh, and then, you know, like, on, I have to do it on a case-by-case -case basis. So I, I literally just hit the point where I was like, nah, man, like I'm, I got my own stuff to worry about. I guess I could call the spa and be like, yo, Lemington, don't mind if I do. I could call the spa and be like, well, no, I, I'm trying to think about how I could even reverse engineer her phone number. Like, I know that sounds creepy, but this is one of the only situations where it actually makes some dang sense. But um, how I could like reverse engineer... Um, her phone number and then phone her and get her to stop freaking like giving like she's under the impression that her phone number is wrong or alternatively she's doing this on purpose to like avoid getting the calls which is kind of a d-hole move for sure um lemmington's close by the way but I, I i really like the idea of us getting a bunch of demon hearts that we can then use even as like financing for an eddie room so I, I don't know, because I think if I called, like, a doctor's office and I was like, hey, can you give me, like, what her number might have been? They would be like, please don't call here ever again. I'm calling the police or something. Because she apparently doesn't know what her own phone number is, so I don't know how I would contact her unless... Because I, I don't know what number she's getting wrong. You know, it, it could be literally... I don't know, people would probably assume it's the last number, but I don't think there's any reasonable reason that has to be the case. So I think I'm just kind of cursed with, like, endlessly knowing way too much about this lady's life. And whenever it's a... And I'm being sincere. Whenever it's a doctor's office, I make the call. I'm like, hey, this is not actually hers. So next time she comes in, can you get her to change that stuff? But when it's the spa, I'm like, whatever. She'll either show up or she won't. <laughs> I'm, I'm not this uh, this woman's personal assistant. Although, I will say she kind of needs one, because uh, she doesn't know what her own phone number is. Or maybe, I don't know, she's given out an old number. No I don't know, I've had this number for like eight years. It's just, it's just annoying. It's not like a major inconvenience. I'm just waiting for like the Seinfeld episode. Where, like, I'm, or the Seinfeld episode conclusion, where I'm, like, at a restaurant, and then they call her name, and then I'm like, you know, I've been getting your calls. And she's like, ew, get away from me. <laughs> ah, that'll be the day. That'll be the day. So this run is actually now going to do it, I think. Um, even despite my best efforts to screw it up by taking dunce cap as a meme um we're gonna be able and and i think don't don't the the demon heart wisps do better like don't they do more damage i don't know they, they're shooting red tears but so am i 
This would be, and I'm not saying the game needs to give us any form of penance here. But it would be an awesome opportunity for the game to give us some form of penance here. And maybe give us uh, an angel deal with a top tier item. I'm not saying it has to be Godhead. I would settle for, you know, Angelic Prism is, was a fun one last time. Uh, really, really anything. You know, I'm not going to be too picky. Also, I, I didn't realize, but this is really like the best of all possible worlds here, right? Like, we have the mechanism to get deal with the devil items without screwing up our angel chance. Satanic Bible remains undefeated after all these years. Uh, car battery doesn't hurt as well. I think pencil? Does pencil only shoot out of us? Or does it shoot out of every familiar as well? Because obviously there's a, a big difference in efficacy there. False PhD. Very good. Very, very good. We are in desperate need of some damage upgrades. I don't know about that one. Um, speed down is a little... It's a little spicy when we already had a speed down. Speed down? All right, I'll take it. Why? Because um, I have commitment to the bit. <laughs> because it would be funny is, is the exact methodology I'm using here. It's such a waste of a, of a battery, but like, so be it. No pills available, that's fine. This must be a secret room. Great yield on that one, okay. It's good. Range down? I don't mind. Thanks for the damage. Speed down? No thank you. Bad trip? That's a gimme. Thanks so much. <laughs> Probably should hold the speed down just in case. What are we on? Catacombs 1? I'm looking and I'm like, I got 25 minutes until the stream is supposed to start, okay? We got a little time. 0 0.64 speed is going to have an impact there. Um, but speed is also, a, I was going to say it's pretty common. But then I realized it's actually not that common. Um, if you also acknowledge that... Uh, we're not going to get traditional boss fight or boss items, I should say. And I, I'm actually going to go like pretty deep on this. I expect this guy to pay out with some charges. So we kind of like break even no matter what. On HP because of car battery. If we don't break even, like that's fine. But I, I feel like we, we kind of need to give ourselves the best chance. Okay, four and a half volt. I don't even know how this is going to work. But I am kind of fishing for uh, like an HP up that also perhaps in theory could give us, um, you know, and I'm, I'm going a little deeper than you probably feel comfortable here, but that's fine. Um, I, I really want the speed upgrade from Blood Bag. I'm, I'm willing to invest in it. Just one familiar for now. Just, just the one familiar. I know we went a little hard on that, but four and a half volt is, is really nice. I think? I don't, actually, now that I look at it, I'm like, it, it might have ruined things for us, but hey, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Cool, it's IV bag. Um, it's the one item we, like, really didn't want there. But now that we've got it, at least we know we can't get it in the future. Wiggle worm? I think it is, like, a, a shot speed up or something. So we generate charge. I don't know if it's the more we shoot or if it's the more damage we do. Oh, that one doesn't uh, come down, huh? Um, but we'll see. For now, Peeper's Eye is, is pretty much garbage, but it is what it is. I wouldn't mind like a five room. A three room rerolls all consumables on the ground. Range plus luck. I'm not trying to be too picky here. I just desperately want like a, <laughs> a speed upgrade. That's it. Nothing, nothing too particular. Feels like an absolutely awesome room with Dunce Cap. You might say, you know, Dunce Cap is not worth it. Hey man, you haven't seen what it can do on that one specific room one time. So, like, don't even talk to me, okay? Don't even talk to me. Keep it moving. I, we did just get a, a, a four and a half volt payout. 
I, I'm trying to think of like what the recurring element was on all of this shot speed down. We can totally take that. I'm trying to think of like what the recurring element was on on all of those four and a half volt uh, runs where life was just incredible for us. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like some of it might be related to like piercing shots. Um, like some multiplicative damage factors. Let's, let's phrase it in like the most nerdy, unnecessarily verbose way possible. But we, we, in order for four and a half volt to be top tier, I feel like we need, that's such a good room for us. I feel like we need to have the ability to do enough damage per room to generate more than one charge. More, more than one tick of charging at least. So we always take the pill. I will I will take a tears down for uh, probably a disproportionately low damage up, but that's okay. We'll also take spider mods so we can actually see what's going on here. This is still fine. As, as busted as it might look, we have a lot of extremely great stuff going for us. It's just also kind of slow. But if you ignore the slowness, like... Is kind of is kind of great actually. Don't fart in my general direction. I am trapped. I implore you to stop doing what you're doing there. Thank you. Oh hello, you guys going out for a little walk? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I I appreciate it. You guys are looking looking cute. Okay, our our angel deal play is now is now happening. It could happen in theory. Okay, first first hit not so impressive. I'm I'm really starting to think that it might be for the best for me to actually uh, generate some flies <laughs> or generate some familiars. I'm also thinking that it might be for the best for me to uh, take Sack Dagger and literally just play this run as if it's from Afterbirth Plus, where the only thing that matters are familiars. Um, Guardian Angel is not exactly the, the coup that we were hoping for, but I think it did generate a heck of a charge for us. I don't know, man. Like, give it a try. Look at the speed of this thing. Holy cow. <laughs> I have no idea. What's happening here? But we're gonna we're gonna keep it moving. I, I'm optimistic. We just got too much uh, uncertainty. You know what I mean? Like false PhD adds a certain level of uncertainty. A another false level or another level of uncertainty is certainly added by um, four and a half volt not fully understanding its mechanics or or how to implement them. Um, and another level of uncertainty is provided by the uh, Sumptorium mechanics and, you know, feeling like, oh, it's too, it, my demon hearts are, like, too good to turn into familiars, especially if they then just disappear after that. But then there's also so much positive stuff. Like, you know, we do have a car battery satanic Bible. It's possible that it's been said in the past that if you lose with car battery satanic bible you should just uninstall the game i'm not saying i said that i'm just saying that it may at at points in the past it may have been uttered mm, in my presence perhaps even by my you know mouth and throat P potentially not not guaranteed but potentially i do feel like we're actually charging up satanic bible a little faster now which is all i could really ask for um, and, well, no, that's not true. I could also ask for a speed and tears upgrade. I, I did throw them away myself. <laughs> but, in my defense, I threw them away for uh, the meme, which means that I can't be held responsible for my actions. In theory, we could play our, our Eddie room here. I personally am uncomfortable with that idea right now, but it is there. Very happy we don't appear to need to explore too much more. Um, tarot cloth is is obviously great, even though it doesn't work with runes anymore. Dog tooth is just is, is good enough. 
A damage upgrade that doesn't come with a, a proportional... Oh, and a speed upgrade! <laughs> okay. Um, you know things are, are a little rough, pun intended, when you need the speed upgrade from Dogtooth. Shot speed? I found pills. Doesn't do anything. Um, mapping's good too, just for, you know, speed of play. But I think we'll start with the, the Tarot Cloth, obviously. Gives us a world card. It's kind of like mapping, really, when you think about it. Kind of like definitely like mapping. Help me. Help, help me. At some point, like this, you know how you always like intend to lose those, you know, 20 pounds that you gained after college? Like that's kind of where I'm at right now, is like I, I intend sincerely. What is this room? <laughs> I intend sincerely to create some familiars from my copious amounts of demon hearts. But I'm just like, oh, it's not just, it's just not the right time yet. Maybe like, well, today's like, we, come on, it's only two days until June, or until June's over. So we might as well wait till July, and then before you know it, um, you know, you're you're like on your deathbed. I don't know what expansion pack is, man, but we're rolling it. Before you know it, you're on your deathbed being like, I can't die yet, I never lost those extra 20 pounds. Okay, well, we will not be using the world card here. I am realizing, you know, I, I will say I started today's episode with much more than enough time to finish an above average length episode before the stream would start. Um, that was before I spent 17 minutes losing over and over. So I, I don't think I'm going to be more than five minutes late. But if, if you're watching this and you're wondering, hey, you know, why was he late on Tuesday? This, this will give you a, a reasonable answer, I think. I actually hate you and want you to stop doing that. You're so annoying. You probably think this song is about you. <laughs> Good one. Almost got me, you son of a gun. Um, judgment. judgment. We pop that down, blow it up all day long, you'll have good luck. 12 cents. I'm at the point now, like, I'm, I'm a, an uncaged beast. In all ways but the physical. If you gave me the opportunity... What? The, what? Oh, 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 what? Expansion pack teleports? Apparently, no. Thank you. Goodbye. Please drop it. Please drop it. Is it undroppable? Please drop it. I'm holding control. Okay. Thank you. That was that was strange to me. Um. That I mean I don't know. I, it's just one of those things where I'm like I I just I I couldn't tell you whether it's good or bad. So stop. <laughs> um, either way, forget that. Streamer says forget equality after dying with sci-fi? What I was going to say, though, is I am at the point where I think if they just gave me the boss room, even if I didn't go to the shop in the item room, I would just be like, you know what? I'm out. Woof, woof, woof. What is it, boy? New Among Us map? Probably a crawl space around here. This could take us to an error room if it, if it, no, 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 nothing to worry about, nothing to concern yourself with, everything, I'm hip, I'm with it, tucka, 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 tucka. I don't know where I am, man, I'm, I'm, I'm lost in the supermarket, I can no longer shop happily. You ever think about, I, 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 look, London Calling by The Clash, one of the best albums of all time. London Calling, Lost in a Supermarket, Train in Vain, you know, Guns of Brixton, which I always think of, every time I think of uh, Landlord Super. When your face is as long as Livery Street, come and have a pint of Guns of Brixton. Anyway, late, we don't need to go that far down the road. Necessarily. I know a little bit of a waste there, but forgive me. Uh, but if the man's lost in the supermarket, I don't think he should be in charge of buying his own groceries. You know what I mean? 
I mean, it's not that hard. There's like, they keep the... the f Usually when you come in, it's like, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables, maybe a little bakery section around there. Um, then in the middle of the grocery store, you got all like the pre-packaged like snacks and, you know, dry goods and stuff like that, canned vegetables. Um, and on the outside, you got all the freezer stuff, the frozen stuff, frozen meals, ice creams, yogurts, and so on and so forth. Then at the checkout, they got those like impulse purchases they want you to get. You know what I mean? Like maybe you're like, oh, I've been good today. I deserve a candy bar or something like that. It's not that. I mean, how'd you get lost? It's a square, dude. You need map quests for that? It's a square. Um, honestly, with... Uh, yes. Um, with uh, our ridiculous familiar action, I think it makes a lot of sense for us to uh, have taken the Polaroid there. And then also, Crown of Light to me is like, please take more familiars. Take my familiars, please. Hey, I never get any respect. Hold on, I have many Discord messages as well, if you'll excuse me a moment here. Oh, we are, we're good. Okay. The world, the world is a, a vampire. We got a long trip ahead of us, but at least it's an XL floor. I'm not necessarily trying to put a rush in on this one for like, you know, laziness purposes. It's just the idea that maybe I could also like brush my teeth before the stream started. Why didn't you do it earlier? I don't know, man. Okay. Cause like... I have a very narrow window where I can brush my teeth. I wake up before my wife. We have electric toothbrushes, right? So they go, Bleh. I wake up before my wife, so I don't want to brush my teeth right away because the brrr would probably wake her up because the bathroom is an ensuite, okay? So I go down, maybe I like, you know, have a little breakfast, drink a little cup of coffee or something like that, and then I go up and I think I'm going to brush my teeth, but my wife is nursing and she doesn't like me to brush my teeth or, or really even be in the room when she's nursing, not because of like shyness, but because the baby gets distracted because daddy's there and you know, you get the idea, right? Okay, we'll take a quick speed up. Love to see it. Um, so I can't do it then, okay? So then I go downstairs, maybe I record like an Isaac episode or something like that. It's not like you can smell my breath through the microphone, not until Elon's, you know, Neuralink technology comes out anyway. So, then I go record an Isaac episode, then I, like, you know, uh, record a second Isaac episode, then I go to go up again, and I'm like, oh, maybe now's the time, and then she's on her second nursing, and I'm like, what the heck, man, now I can't, like, there's, despite having been awake for three hours, there's, like, a four-minute window where I need five minutes to brush my teeth, but I, I just can't seem to manifest it on a daily basis, okay, so that's why I need a two-day weekend, so I can actually find a, a reasonable, stress-free time to actually brush my teeth. Is it, does that answer your question? Do you do you have too much information, maybe, about your, your streamer's life now? It's, it's dignity, Luan! I thought you'd know dignity when you saw it. Anyway, it's not that bad. I'll just be like a couple minutes late. Oh no, my Isaac is two minutes late and goes eight minutes long. That's my impression of me in my head. Okay, this we, we now got a great thing going. Make some sumptoriums. If this is what it takes, by the way, for me to win a run this Tainted Eve, so be it. I've, I've come to terms with the fact, to thine own self be true. Get owned, by the way. We're very happy with our existing uh, spacebar item provider. Please do not call here again. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you got the name wrong. Or the phone number wrong. Okay, then, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna... Like, literally yeet all of our HP at the altar of uh, getting some damage done with Sack Dagger. Can I tell you? I, I do respect it. We have Polaroid, yes. But I do think that they got rid of... or They, they upped the rotation speed of Sack Dagger to actually make it worse. That seems to be correct, right? Because it used to be you could just walk at, like, the perfect frequency to get it to stay on these large enemies in particular. Now they're like, nah, 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 I spin so fast. No more ill-gotten gains for you, sir. So, I I do like our run. And the the extra damage potential that we get out of having these familiars now is, is sweet, don't get me wrong. Um, and, you know, with the jumper cables satanic bible like there's a, a ton of value coming out of that 
We can always Sumptorium if we have to. But even still, I'm not fully convinced that right now we're a lock to beat uh, Mom. Or to, to beat Mega Satan, I should say. I'm not fully convinced. I'm not fully convinced we're screwed either, but I'm not fully convinced that we're a lock. And I, I do have to acknowledge my own value here, my own tilt potential, because, like, I'm, I'm getting tilted to the freaking moon. Justice. Every time I hit a dead end, that's not healthy. That's not a, that's not a healthy mindset. We got to back that up. Here's a question I have, and it, it's like a stoichiometry question, more or less. If we generate more familiars, which costs us demon hearts, will we charge up our demon hearts faster via the four and a half volt? Or is it one of those things where it's just kind of like the, the damage... There's only a certain amount of charge to be gleaned from any room. Is that, is that possible? Or is it that the, the, the damage you do charges it that much faster? Because that was an um, embarrassment, but I don't know. Um, Jawbreaker is really good, right? Like, isn't Jawbreaker just a worse version of Tough Love? Which sounds bad, but is fine because it's a trinket instead of an item. Bad trip is... You should use it on a room, by the... Well, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't use it on a room because you lose Crown of Light. Anyway, it's a good time to maybe just throw a, a brief pause in and then be like, okay, I'm going to tweet and say, if you'll excuse me. Hello. Stream will start slightly late. Isaac Run is running long, which is now becoming usual. It's my own fault. I don't know why I, f I, I phrase it in such a way that people might be like, ah, the game screwed you. But really, I, I mean, I, I kind of played like doo-doo. But it was in the service of getting this cool run. Look at this cool run right here. So I got nothing against that. Plus, we, we really are like four rooms away. It's mostly a question of whether or not we can succeed. But I do feel, by the way, like... We do better on long boss fights. I think that a four and a half volt just just has the opportunity on, on a long boss fight to pay out multiple times. The number of whiffs I've had <laughs> where I have just like completely missed um, with Sack Dagger and like done a circle around the enemy with my muscle memory is so good. Why are you taking such little damage? Oh, Dunce Cap, right. Yeah, yeah, if I didn't have Dunce Cap, uh, this one would also... And I say you had as if, like, I didn't choose to take it, but... Um, I Also, our rate of fire is 0.91, so I suppose there is that. Here's how I'm going to do this, okay? We're going to get another charge any second now. We're going to use it and immediately run in there, and then, like... Honestly, just be dead. Like, you are that's what you do in this game, so just die. I don't want to throw away too much HP. Uh, all of our Sumptorium familiars are gone. Ouch. Yeah, I think we're going to die. I do appreciate this. We we'll, probably won't go fight Delirium right away. I'm going to send it, but I'm pessimistic. <laughs> Uh, rocket bombs. This, this you, you couldn't really ask for a worse uh, setup than, than this, but uh, no, 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 we, we can't use flush. You need, well, yeah, you, yeah, you can. So what, here's what you do. You use flush, you walk into the room, you turn them all into poops. Why? Because we're trying to just, like, examine the rooms directly around us. In the hopes of getting, um, I mean, more charges, yes, but with four luck, definitely also fishing for some items here. Our shot speed can't get any lower, so that's like a five percent damage boost. That's not a, it's not a super negative. Bro, I'm just, I, I know I took a tears downgrade, by the way. I'm just begging you for a tears upgrade. I know, like, I don't deserve it, but... 
appreciate that you did not become a rocket bomb there. Hate this room, but that's okay. Don't don't sweat the, the charges here. You know, this is why you got rocket bombs. I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Rocket bombs. Great stuff. Great stuff. I mean, I think at some point... I thought with four luck we get a payout a little earlier than this, but at some point we just gotta go, man. Maybe, like, go one more room to the side here. I hate this guy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I hate you, man. You're uh, you what? Your bone blocked my rocket bomb. Well, uh, that's another. Uh, okay, what? <laughs> Streamer wins maybe with sci-fi pog. I don't believe it. it. This was unexpected, but what what a stroke of accidental genius. Now. I am already late. My overall lateness will, at the end of the day, be determined by how long we keep Crown of Light active and, of course, whether or not we die. I'm gonna create, like, so many Sumptoriums that your head is gonna explode, like in the David Cronenberg film Scanners. Because I just... I, I want a plethora of minions out here. I've already lost my crown of light okay i'm still gonna create as many familiars as possible because i feel like the more of these sons of guns we got like the more damage we're charging in the four and a half volt which allows us to have even more familiars is he doing it peepo g is he doing it in theory we can also recoup a lot of the loss. This is like the ideal enemy for this, right? We can recoup a lot of the loss by using Sumptorium as well for the record, but... I'm just, I'm just chilling for now. I feel like I'm, I'm doing a reasonable amount of damage right now. And as a result, I'm, I'm not creating familiars for no reason. That was a ton of damage. I'm, it's dawning on me now that this is probably the most underdeserved win in Isaac history, and it's dawning on my on me now that all wins count for the same amount. <laughs> so screw you. I'm taking it. I'm using an infinite amount of of demon hearts here, and I I will never apologize ever for anything. We will not do delirium on this one though. This this is a real load off my shoulders though, because you know what this means? This means that Tainted Eve is done. I like Tainted Eve as a character. Like if I'm doing my, my post-mortem right now, obviously we'll probably end up playing as Tainted Eve again in like uh, you know, streak situations, random situations, so on and so forth. Um I just having this character be temporarily eliminated is like a big positive for me. Um, because it requires a, a large degree of mental overhead to play as them. So this is a, a situation where I'm just, I'm happy knowing that we're coming up to the world where we're going to, you know, just have Tainted Lost <laughs> and Tainted Eden and Tainted Kane. All, all brain benders slowly being eliminated is, uh, is a positive thing for me. Until only the brain benders are left. You gotta admit, our DPS do be kind of doo-doo, even with an 11 point something damage stat, like... It, that, that Tears Down did more damage than I'd like to admit. Big ups to Sci-Fly, thank you so much. And I think big ups to 4.5 Volt as well. Uh, Horse Pill has been unlocked, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get going to the toothbrush area and then the stream. See ya, see ya next time, see ya.